Hello there, welcome to another unlockyoursound.com tutorial with myself Chris Cavalio. The goal of this tutorial is to teach you how to install custom patches in Logic Pro 10. So if you've sourced custom patches online, channel strips online or what have you, um, or someone's giving you some uh, that they've created, like my friend Jake here has, um, then this is how you install them uh, on your system so that you can use them in Logic Pro. Um, so here they are. These are the patches. My friend Jake made them and he gave them to me and I'm very grateful to him. Looking forward to using them. Um, if you want to learn more about Jake, his YouTube channel is in the description of this video. He does some great tutorials um, and does a lot of live uh, Logic Pro doodling sessions, which are always fun. Okay, cool. So all we need to do is, well, the first thing we need to do is make sure that Logic Pro 10 is actually quit. It's not even on in the background or anything. It's quit. Um, it's not on at all. And then the next thing we do is we open Finder. And I do that by simply clicking on the desktop and then Command N on my keyboard, which brings up uh, Finder, a new window of Finder. And then I go to Music. I go to Audio Music Apps. And then I go to Patches and then instruments because uh, the patches that Jake have given me they're for the instrument patches as opposed to audio patches so instrument and uh, I don't have any custom ones in there which is fine um, and then I'm going to double click this folder on my desktop select all of them and then just drop them in great they're all in now that's simple as that close that window and then open Logic Pro give that a moment to think about life and open up and now I'm going to start a new project so command N on my keyboard because I have it set to do nothing on launch empty project will do and then uh, I'm just going to uh, empty channel strip on there, open library create and then once the library is open I go to user patches and they're all there so let's have a listen, let's see what Jake has given me uh, just test a couple of them out ooh this one sounds like fun ah cool, it's loaded all the stuff very nice nice one Jake love it and then I'm going to open one more hmm ah very nice Jake so that's how you do it guys, you simply uh, load the patches into that folder, I'll just quickly run you through it again, where that folder is, so I'm just going to open Finder, obviously you do this with Logic closed, it's under the music folder, audio music apps, uh, patches, for instruments, the instrument ones go in there, otherwise audio and auxiliary patches go in their retrospective folders, in their respective folders, sorry. Um, yeah, and this is where I put them in the instrument folder. But obviously, I did that with Logic Close, and then I opened Logic, and it worked. So there you go. And once again, check out Jake's channel uh, in the description of this video. He does really, really good stuff for Logic Pro users. Hope that was useful. Feel free to ask me questions. Take care.